found it not a scary book, but a very deeply disturbing book that really, um, I guess, upset the core of me. I can imagine myself, you know, you know, being Lewis. I mean, I was reading it for that purpose, but just there was that every person quality about the situation and what you would do as a person or a parent and something being there so close you could you know, touch it, that, you know, that ability to, to give, bring back life or to give life. And um, so that, for that reason, I found it very, um, it was one of those things I had to stop and put down. Is their approach to this world, this wood, this, this, this ancient place that has this power, and the journey that, that Lewis and the whole family go down. And, and they're very, um, they're very like archetypal hero journeys in their own way. You we know, working with her now, she has a wonderful ability to listen, you know, and, and very easily for children or young actors that, you know, have just learnt a particular way of working that works and pleases the director or pleases or whatever. You know, it's 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 um it's something special to be able to just sit there and listen and see what happens and see where it goes and and I'd say she has that. The relationship that Stephen King has in the book between Lewis and his wife is really cool. I love I love it. there's a there's a there's a baseness to them and a real you know they're not some kind of fictional character. But even their their sexuality, their love life. Way he described it. it was really quite shocking to me when I read it the second time. I thought, "Oh God, I, I can really. I feel like I'm part. It made it, it made the story more intimate, and um, and Amy, you know, does that naturally and easily. You know, just with her own work as a writer and a director as well as an actress. The very first time working with John, I had not long seen him. You know, his work in The Crown, which I thought was just fantastic. Um, yeah, you know, it's what you know. Again, casting can be a lot of it. You know. And I thought it was a fantastic choice. He's taller than me. You know, I thought that was wonderful for Judd. You know, and also the fact that Lewis and he have such a, an easy rapport that it just slips into this father figure. I think this film goes beyond, or the story goes beyond horror. I mean, it goes into a deeper level of what true horror is. I mean, this man, this man, it's, it's Frankensteinish in the way that you... If, the, if, you, if you create the monster or if you bring the monster to life, what happens then if the monster has consciousness and has, you know, it's like AI or something, isn't it? It's like when, when the computer reaches synchronicity.